Welcome back to Booze in the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a cocktail called True Colors. This is a multi-layered cocktail, very much like the song by Cyndi Lauper, True Colors, which was released in 1986 on the True Colors album. So, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, let's make this super easy build-in-the-glass cocktail. Now, I'm using a beer glass. This is a 19-ounce glass. And based on the total ingredients, you'll understand why I'm using a glass the size I am and why I'm only going to fill it up about halfway with ice. Beautiful. Look at that. Now, we are going to start with a liqueur. And liqueurs, by their nature, have a lot of sugar in them. So what that does when layering a cocktail is it has a level of fluid density that is heavier than almost anything else. So you'll see people that will use the terms fluid density and specific gravity when it comes to liquids. So that's why we're going to start with our blue curacao first. And we're going to start with one ounce or 30 milliliters and we're just gonna pour everything in here gently. Oh yeah, look at that, fantastic. Now. Our next ingredient is some homemade lemonade. And you can use whatever lemonade you want. Now, what I will do is I will put the ingredients in the method of how to make this down in the description down below for you if you want to make your own lemonade. And this is the perfect lemonade to use for a whole other raft of cocktails or if you just want some good lemonade. And for this, we need three ounces or 90 milliliters. And we're just going to slowly dribble it on top like so. Beautiful. Look at that. Now, the next thing you're going to add is a lemon lime soda of your choice. In this case, I'm using Sprite. It's what I have in my bar. Now, Sprite has a lot of sugar in it as well. So you just have to remember that it may sink a little bit, but what to alleviate that, what we're gonna do is use our spoon and we're just gonna pour it down the side of the glass like so. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at that beautiful layer of clear, clear pop, or soda, whatever you want to call it. Now, the next thing we need is another glass. And the reason we're going to do this is we're going to use our vodka and our melon liqueur. Now, my friend Dan made sure I got a copy or a bottle full of Midori, which I cannot get where I live. Dan, thank you very much. I also went and picked up a bottle of Crazy Monkey Vodka. Now this is from a distillery that's down in Toronto, but 45 minutes south of where I live. So always make sure that you buy local where you can. So we're going to start this by mixing an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters of the vodka. Now we'll add three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters of Midori. All right, perfect. Now uh, Midori, for those of you who are not familiar with it, it is a Japanese melon liqueur, well known for its fancy, fancy nuclear green color. So what you're gonna do, just give this a bit of a stir, just to agitate it. And we've done this just so that we can thin out the density of the liqueur. And what we'll do is we'll now layer this on top with our pour spout and our spoon like so. Oh, yeah, look at that. Fantastic. Now, the next thing we're going to use is our Empress 1908 gin. And this has butterfly pea flower in it, which gives us this beautiful purple color. And for this, we're going to use an ounce and a half and 45 mils again. But we will layer this on top using our spoon to give us that additional layer. So we'll just do it with this way. <laughs> Look at it. You just can't go wrong with a gorgeously layered cocktail. Now, it's not the purple that everybody recognizes. So what we're going to do also while we garnish this, grab yourself a lemon. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut two wedges. One wedge for your garnish, another for just a nice little squeeze on top. Now what that will do is that will actually activate the butterfly pea flower in the gin and it will give it a light purple hue. And what we'll do is we'll just add on our garnish like so. And here you have your true colors. Now, this is a gorgeous looking cocktail that's got lots and lots of flavors and it's not a simple drink. You know what? Either drink it down all the way from top to bottom or give it a good mix and it'll give you a gorgeous turquoise blue color. What I will do, is I'll put the method and the ingredients of how to make this down in the description down below for you. And if this is your first time to my channel, 
please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up that new video, you will be notified. And if you'd like to help or support the channel, please check us out at patreon.com forward slash booze on the rocks because every little bit helps us to bring these videos to you. You have a fantastic day.